When Prometheus first came out, a lot of people, even some reviewers, thought that it took place on LV-426, the setting for Alien and its follow-up, Aliens. But most of us knew or learned pretty quickly that the focus instead would be on LV-223. But why'd they choose LV-223, a moon in orbit around the same gas giant, Kalpamos, as LV-426 was? Most of us assumed that it was one of the change-ups brought on by Damon Lindelhoff, as all of the known scripts by John Spates used LV-426. But Damon's known drafts simply say the planet, so it appears that even before Damon's involvement, the idea to use LV-223 as a setting was around. Now let's see if we can find out why. John Spates, co-writer for Prometheus, was recently on the Script Apart podcast where they were talking about an earlier draft of his called Alien Engineers. And luckily for us, he was asked right out why the location was moved from LV-426 to LV-223. He replied, It's a good question. We went back and forth a lot over the course of things as to whether this was a precise juggernaut or not from the original film, but in the end, like other parts of his drafts, it was just too expensive. When it came to the exact identity of the world, he and Ridley talked about a possible trilogy of movies that ran as precursors to Alien. He said they had a rough sketch of how those things would play, but that they weren't sure if those movies would ever get made. So they left themselves escape hatches, meaning that if they only got to do one film, it would be good enough prequel-wise. They were consciously developing story, as so that Prometheus could lead directly into Alien, or it could lead to a branch path, and there would be another story that would play in between Prometheus and Alien giving them more time on this way station. So it appears that even they were unsure of how Prometheus, or a movie tied to Alien, could do at the time. And they were using LV-223 as a stopgap to getting to LV-426, giving them time to expand on the story of the Engineers, the Accelerant, and a host of other Giger-type aliens. Yet to me, it sounds like John felt that you could still go to LV-426 for Prometheus and still get the prequel trilogy that they were looking for because when he was later asked about the changes to the end of the final act from Alien Engineers to Prometheus, this is what he had to say. Well, telling the just-so story of the space jockey, which that would have been, because you see the pilot of the juggernaut unite with his pilot seat, he essentially becomes a living space jockey, he puts on his suit and acquires the appearance of the creature that we met dead in Alien, we also come to realize that the reason he was in the Engineers version of Cold Sleep was because he was infected. Whether he knew it or not, he had been awakened and is now trying to get home. So that way, if the movie was made, the link to Alien would be made, where the pilot is killed and crash lands, creating the circumstances that the Nostromo would find later. It was provocative, and it left the door open for other sequels. And along with John and Ridley's doubts about further prequels made, leading us to LV-223, the studio was heading there as well. When John came aboard, the project was an Alien prequel, using titles like Alien Origin, Alien Engineers, and Alien Genesis. Then Fox had a change of heart. Now I've heard of this change of focus before, from the Alien to the Engineers, but I didn't know that John tied it to the release of Inception. He said that to Fox, it was this huge original successful sci-fi epic, and here they are working on a prequel like everyone else is doing. So changes and a retitle were made. What began with John's work as a direct Alien prequel, with side prequel stories to follow, later became a side story in the Alien universe that led to the direct prequel on LV-426, except it still hasn't happened yet. And now I'm sure they would have ironed all this out in later drafts, but Alien Engineers did leave some issues for later movies. If the story did take place on LV-426, then there wouldn't have just been a derelict for the Nostromo and Weyland yutani to find there later on. There would be an entire complex of engineer pyramids, and possibly more juggernauts. There would also be the Crash Prometheus, or Magellan as it was then called, an escape pod, and a whole host of dead human, engineer, and various alien bodies, all left to be discovered. Ridley stated that the decision to not have things take place on the same planet was intentional, and that he didn't like the idea of the Nostromo picking up a signal from the very same ship that we saw in Prometheus because it was just too neat, too clean. What are your thoughts on LV-223? I'm actually glad that we got to see another moon in the same system as 426, as it did greatly expand on the alien universe. But without a third prequel or follow-up story, we're left waiting for a return to Acheron. 
Thanks for watching guys, and as always, your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions go a long way towards helping the channel grow. Take care, and I hope to see you next time.